Kat, you've been doing some amazing work in the retired racehorse space. Tell us a little bit about Life With Horses. Yeah, so Life With Horses started two years ago. Uh, I quit the corporate world, uh, burnt out, and um, decided to give something else a go. My passion lies with horses. I was a girl that loved horses and wasn't allowed one, so I thought I'd take on some off the tracks. Um, so we take on our injured racehorses, the ones that don't have a chance in the equine um, competition world and we give them the time and energy and money that's involved in healing them um, and then putting them into a world of equine therapy so them helping humans along the way as well. Yeah and that's the interesting part about what you do it, it works both ways what you're doing you're looking after these horses nursing them back to health but yeah. also they serve as a, a nurse in a way to, to humans who might want some extra help. Yeah so we uh, we get people with PTSD, ADHD, um, autism or just any type of trauma or, corporate burnout <laughs> it's the same thing right um, so they come in and they spend time with these horses that just are big teddy bears that want to be loved yeah. um, and they, they see through every emotion so they'll call people on what they're feeling at that moment the horses will either accept it or be like oh, I'm not really too sure on that so it gives the person to pause take a moment reflect on what they're feeling change adapt and then go again with the horse and the horse will reflect that again so it's a I, really cool way I love the way you speak about horses as if they're not just an animal, are they? And you've said that a horse can look into a person's soul. So you regard them as very intelligent animals. Yeah, super intelligent. And they know when you've got a bad day. Like, I, I'm, I'm their carer. I'm their mum in their eyes. But if I'm having a bad day, if I've had a fight with someone, they know it and it's, it's not a good day to get on their back. So <laughs> they, they, they're so, they see through your soul. And, and I love that that part of it. We, we miss it because we're so busy in our lives that we just go, Cute horse, pat, brush, ride, yeah. but give them the time and the energy. You can you can get so much more from them. Yeah, uh, it's a not non for profit charity that you run. You've, yeah. Fortunate Racing Queensland has really supported yeah. you. News uh, recently that another grant has come through, which is terrific. But yeah. you also rely on on donations. But with the donations, uh, how does that work? And, and what do people get for for the money they spend? Yeah, so we've got a few different ways. We've got individuals who can sponsor a horse for a retired racehorse for eighty dollars a month. Uh, that gives them two visits a month where they can come and have a horse um, for half the cost, half the time, and yeah, yeah they don't have to pick up poop. <laughs> um, there's that experience. And then when they're comfortable around the horse, they can do riding lessons and, and step up that stone. So when they're ready to have a horse, they're well educated, they're well equipped, and, and maybe they want to take one of our horses and go to a forever home. Uh, we have corporates that can donate larger amounts. Um, and, and bring their clients out for team building days or one-on-one -on -one experiences. So we provide them that experience, which also helps educate people on these amazing horses. Everyone thinks they're flighty and scary, but they're not. And, and we love to be able to bring them into this safe space to provide them that experience. Yeah. Um, and then we also have corporate team building where corporates can actually bring their teams out for a really cool you know, team building experience, whether it's communication, trust, you know, horses, you need to trust a lot. So, yeah, it gives them a really eye-opening experience. Yeah, it's terrific work that you're, you're doing. It's an important extension of the racing industry now, what happens to retired racers. And this is a, a different sort of category that you're looking after. So congratulations with what Thank you're you. doing. And um, we look forward to seeing it grow from here. Thank you. Thank you for your support. <laughs>